we have a uniform beam of weight 10 newtons hinged to the wall. So this beam is held horizontally by a rope uh, which is tied to the right end of the beam and to the ceiling. Just for fun, we will have one more block here whose weight is 5 newtons and the block is placed at one quarter of the length of the beam. So we are going to solve for all the other forces acting on the beam. One of the forces that acts on the beam is of course the tension in the rope here, T, which can be solved in just one step by taking moments about the hinge. When we take moments about the hinge, the 5 newtons and the 10 newtons forces will be exerting a clockwise moment. If I let the total length of the beam be L, then I can write down the moments as 5 times a quarter L plus 10 times half an L. So these clockwise moments must be balanced by the anti-clockwise moments exerted by the tension T. If we resolve the tension into its vertical and horizontal components, then we realize that the horizontal components exert no moment. So the moments exerted by T can simply be written as T sine 60 degrees, which is the vertical component, times the perpendicular distance, which is the length of the rod, L. So with just one equation, we solved T to be 7.22 newtons. Now let's move on to solving the force that the hinge exerts on the beam. And we are going to solve the vertical and horizontal components of that hinge force separately. Because the rope is pulling the beam rightward, the hinge must be pulling the beam leftward. If not for the hinge, the beam would have been pulled out of the wall. As for the vertical component, I just assume that it's going to be upward. It's just my gut feel. Horizontally, we only have fx and the horizontal component of the tension. So these two must be balanced. So fx is t cosine 60, which turns out to be 3.61 newtons. Vertically, we have um, the upward fy and the vertical component of tension, which must balance the downward 5 and 10 newtons. So fy can be solved to be 8.75 newtons. So combining the vertical and horizontal components of the force at the hinge, we can solve for the magnitude of the hinge force using Pythagoras to be 9.46 newtons. As for the direction, it can be solved by a tangent ratio. So the force at the hinge turns out to be 67.6 degrees above the horizontal. So basically, when an object is at rest, we look at all the forces acting on the object and we know that all the rights must balance all the lefts. All the ups must balance all the downs. And all the clockwise must balance all the anti-clockwise. So form your equations out of all these facts and you should be able to solve whatever unknown force you are supposed to solve for. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!